May 2005 by the federal government with a mandate to use a certain percentage of the proceeds of all national lottery operations for execution of good cause projects across the country. The focus for this year is on providing the basic COVID-19 facilities to some healthcare institutions to prevent the spread of the virus. The government has sent out a stern warning on stringent preventive measures as there has been a spike in the virus over the last four weeks. COVID-19 remains very virulent and a dangerous uh, 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 pandemic. And the World Health Organization statistics, uh, statistics show that more cases of COVID-19 have been reported in the past four weeks than in the first six months. The Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, Senator George Akume, rules out the scorecard of what the Lottery Trust Fund has achieved so far. It is on record that the agency has improved over 40 healthcare centers across the country within the last two years, putting smiles on the faces of Nigerians. According to the Trust Fund, the reason for distributing the COVID-19 facilities to the institutions is to help curtail the spread of COVID-19. The essence of this intervention, Your Excellency's distinguished guest, is to support our healthcare institutions to curtail the spread of the coronavirus in the hope that this effort will make all the difference in saving lives and enhancing the capacity of these institutions to provide high standards of care to patients as well as protection to frontline health care professionals fighting against the pandemic. Notification letters are handed over to beneficiaries followed by the commissioning of the kits and facilities. Twelve healthcare centres drawn from the six geopolitical zones are given infrared thermometers, Aaron Rava, that's the N95 face mask, and Category 1 personal protective equipment, PPEs. The Lottery Trust Fund is optimistic that the facilities will be of great benefit to Nigerians.